In this video, I'm going to show you how to add templates to your child theme. We're going to use the original templates from the original theme and throw them over into the child's themes folder. It's best to create your own templates for your child theme because if you make any changes to the original templates and there's an update to the original theme, those changes could be lost. To create these templates, we're going to need to log into our host website's control panel or log into an FTP such as FileZilla. Once there, we're going to add these templates to their folders which will then apply on the website itself. In this example, I'm going to use FileZilla as it's much easier to use, but if you're logging into your control panel, it'll be the exact same process. Once logged into FileZilla or your control panel, we'll need to go find our theme folder. So we'll follow these steps. First, go to public HTML. Find your website. If you're on your host website already, go to WP Content. Otherwise, find your website. WP content, themes, and here we have both our child theme and our original theme. If we go to child theme, we can see it has only the style sheet. If we go to our original theme, we can see it has all the templates as well as its own style sheet. So we're going to need to copy these over from the original over to our child theme. On the right side of FileZilla in our FTP, we have all the files on our website. On the left side, it's all the files on our computer. So in order to transfer these over, I'm going to create a new folder on my computer. Call it Templates. In this example, I only, I'm only going to transfer over the footer PHP and the header PHP. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to drag it over to the templates. It makes an exact copy. And now in this templates folder, I can see I have the two PHP templates. I go back, and I go back over to 2017 child. I can add both the header and the footer. I drag and drop. It automatically uploads. And if I go back to my website and refresh it, I'll have both the header theme and the footer theme. They'll be exactly how they are in the original theme. And any edits I make here will be more important than what is applied in the original theme. Now let's say we want to add the functions PHP and build from scratch. Or have the functions PHP and have it empty. What we're going to want to do now is pull up our notepad and just have a blank notepad. Go to File Save As and save it as functions.php. And I'm going to save mine also in the templates folder, but it really doesn't matter where you save it as long as you can find it when you transfer it back over. I'm going to go back over to FileZilla or go to your control panel. Then we're going to go back to refresh and back in the into the templates folder and now we have the functions.php we go back over to our 2017 child theme functions or drag it over and now we have a blank functions.php template we go back to our website refresh we will see that we have the theme footer the theme functions, which is the functions.php template, and the theme header. We go over to theme functions and click proceed to edit. It'll be empty. And now we put whatever theme functions we want in here. I hope this helped you guys out and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.